Welcome to Mortgage Monday, I'm Matthew Poole. So last week we looked at how to access your credit report and the sorts of things to look at that will help you improve your score going forward. If you've not watched the video, feel free to go back and view them. What we're going to look at today is how to understand your financial situation. Now this is a key part of the process and you may not know what your situation is, you may not understand your outgoings in full, so I've designed a free template which is free for you to use. I'm going to show you how to fill it in, how to understand it and this will put you in a really strong position to understand what you can do going forward. So. You're now in a position where you need to understand your financial situation, your income, your expenditure, and ultimately what you have left over at the end of each month, so what you can afford for your home improvements going forward. Again, this is a journey on getting you to that situation so you can then fund your home improvements. So what I've got here is a template I've devised, uh, which I'll share a link with at the end, and I'm gonna show you how to fill it in now. So what we have on here, is a fully editable template for your own individual circumstances. So you'll notice on here there's a few different colours, so I'll just let you know what each colour is all about. So the grey boxes, those are the ones that can be edited by yourselves then. So you've got your income, your expenditure, your commitments, your mortgage at the minute, and your household expenditure as well. So all the grey boxes, you can then utilise that to input your own individual circumstances. Now, First, we're going to look at the income. So the income up at the top right-hand corner here. So we've got the main income from employment, self-employment. It may be salary and dividends. It may be a set salary. It may be net profit of your, of your self-employed business. And then underneath as well, there's three boxes for you to fill in different types of income. So that could be rental income. It could be investment income. Whatever income you've got coming in, make sure it's documented on here. Down from there, we've then got your household bills. Now there's a really easy way to check all these. Now most of these will be static, consistent monthly amounts every single month. So if you have online banking with your bank, you can go onto your banking, click on your direct debit tab, and it will tell you exactly what each one of these costs every single month. So really easy to fill those in there. Moving on to the travel. So these, this is where things get a bit more ambiguous and it's thinking about what you spend realistically on a month by month basis, on car insurance, petrol, car tax, maintenance, breakdown cover, any public transport, Ubers, taxis, trains, buses for example. So try and give yourself a really good overview of that yourself so you're not keeping yourself short. Under there, we've then got your household expenditure. So household expenditure is all about what you spend on a monthly basis for yourself and your family. So that's food, clothing, um, birthdays, Christmases, holidays, entertainment, going out to eat, club you're a member of, etc, etc. So again, in this section here, obviously some of those may be annual costs like a holiday. If you spend three grand on, a, on an annual holiday, break it down monthly and stick 250 in there. Really simple to keep track of what it actually costs you month by month. From there, you've then got your credit commitments. So you can enter in here up to six of your credit commitments. So we went through the credit report last time. Now on there, it will give you a breakdown of the exact balance outstanding on that and your monthly payments as well. So on here, make sure you're putting all those in. And again, this is a good way, as we mentioned in the previous video, to check your debt to income ratio as well. So all of these figures here compared to your annual income, that will give you that figure you're looking for there. On here as well, you've then got your mortgages that are outstanding already. So you can pop your lender in there, the monthly payments, the amount outstanding, and also the value of your current property. Once you fill all those in, it will tell you as well how much equity you've got in the house and what you're lending compared to the actual house price as well. So once you fill all these figures in here, it will calculate everything automatically for you. It'll be a breakdown of your income, your household expenditure, your travel costs, your household expenditure, commitments and mortgage. So it will break those down individually and it will break it down even further on here to show you overall what your position is. So I've got here one I've filled in already, just to give you a typical example of a growing family. So we've got two salaries coming in, one being the main earner, one with a secondary earner, and we've got £4,252 worth of income per month. From there, an example of a typical household expenditure coming in at just short of £600. We've got £365 for travel, we've got £1,230 for expenditure on the household, 
Food costs can be a big one, obviously. Don't underestimate. If anything, overestimate to make sure that you're giving yourself the most realistic view possible. Um, and then it breaks it down in totals here. So total income, total expenditure of everything put together and what you have left at the end of every month. So this is the key figure you're looking at to understand what's potentially possible when you're looking at your lending requirements going forward. The more you can afford on here, potentially the more you can borrow for your home improvements. So my top three tips from this section is to be accurate with your income. Now, if you've got varying income month by month, make sure you take a three month average. That'll give you a much better idea of what your actual annual income is. Be realistic with your household expenditure as well. So second tip. Now with these figures in here on your household expenditure, they can be quite ambiguous and you might not know exactly what you spend month by month. Now, the key thing with this is you might be like me, you might think you don't spend as much as you actually do. So it's important to overestimate, if anything, to make sure this figure is realistic on your disposable income. Now, if you're unrealistic in this section, you may try and take on too much borrowing and you may find yourself getting into difficulty going forward with, with your repayments. Now, thanks for watching this video this week. If you'd like a copy of the template, comment below. I'll send it across to you to use you for yourself. Follow me on LinkedIn, subscribe on YouTube, and I look forward to seeing you next week on Mortgage Monday.